metacognition is a term that was coined by a cognitive psychologist, Flavel, back in 1976. And simply put, it's your ability to think about your own thinking. So it's as if you have a big brain outside of your brain, looking at what your brain is doing. And that big brain is asking your brain questions. And it's saying, do you really understand this? Or did you just memorize this? It's saying, if you have a project to do, do you realize that you need to start very early, organizing your thoughts, or are you planning to just start on it the night before the way you've done in the past? Because remember, when you did that in the past, it didn't turn out very well. It's your ability to actually recognize that you are a problem solver. So when questions come up that you might have initially asked somebody else, your metacognitive brain causes you to think and ask, are there solutions to this problem that I can possibly think of? I think it's really important for faculty to teach metacognitive skills to students because students typically come to college not having those skills. Before they have done very, very well being very good memorizers, very good regurgitators, but in terms of critically thinking and analyzing situations, they haven't had that experience. And unless faculty teach students that they do have the capability of doing it, and teaching them the different levels of thinking from memorizing to creating, analyzing, then students won't have any idea of the differences between what they've done before and what they need to do in college, unless faculty teach them those skills. Ah, that's an excellent question I because really I hear faculty complain faculty all the time that if my students were only motivated, they would do much better. But uh, there's an expert on self-regulated learning, Linda Nelson, who says that in the academy, it's our job as faculty to stimulate interest in, on the part of the student. And that means that we really have to motivate students instead of expecting students to come and motivate themselves. And there are a number of ways to do that. One, I think, is for the faculty members to communicate to the students from the very first day of class that we expect everyone to be successful in this class. We are going to have fun in the class. I'm going to give you some very good strategies for learning. And if you follow those strategies, then everyone should be able to succeed. Uh, I think another very motivating factor is teaching students about the metacognitive skills that uh, there are very specific strategies they can use to excel in this course and give students the opportunity very early on to demonstrate that they understood these skills. So even giving a test or a quiz very early that allows students to have some degree of success is motivating because many students come to classes thinking, oh, I'm never going to succeed at this. But if they have an exercise where they see they can be successful, oh, that then that's very calm. motivating. I think it's really uh, important. Yes, I've worked with many centers for teaching and learning, uh, but I was primarily associated with a center for students, a learning center for students. And uh, let me just say that I'm really, really impressed, impressed with the work that Sadru is doing here, combining having faculty work with students. And I think that that's really, really important because on many campuses, the faculty center and the student center operate in isolation. But I think when faculty development centers work with student learning centers and even provide joint workshops, uh, joint programming, then it allows the faculty to see the situation from the position of the students. Because many times the experience that faculty have had in their college is very different from the experience that students coming to college have had. And so when centers work together, then the faculty can get the student perspective and the people who work with students can get the faculty perspective. And I think doing the kinds of workshops uh, and conferences that teach faculty about specific ways to teach students how to learn, really, really important because most faculty haven't learned those techniques to do that. And so I think the more faculty development centers can get that information out to faculty, then faculty will be much more, much better equipped to work with students. 
And in my experience, faculty are really fascinated with the fact that you can teach students how to make themselves smarter. And many times they're very surprised that when they teach students these very specific skills, students do much better. So I think those would be the, the suggestions that I would have. In the academy, it's our job as Hi, faculty. I'm Sandra McGuire, and I am the Director Emerita of the Center for Academic Success at Louisiana State University and also a retired professor of chemistry. And I am here at SEDU having a very wonderful time being the speaker at the third international conference on teaching and learning. And I've had a great experience working with faculty at UniNorte and working with faculty from uh, the other countries also. And I invite everyone to take advantage of all of the programming that's available through SEDU because there are lots and lots of things that are available and they will allow you to have a lot of fun with your students and be much more effective at uh, teaching students the students. the opportunity very early on to demonstrate that they understood these skills